fellow students today we will do our left over the part of chapter 2 file management and data organization as we already discussed in part 1 moving or copying a file or folder from one drive to another and moving or copying a file or folder between storage devices now in second part we will discuss searching a file or folder understanding different file formats sorting files working with multiple application and exercises along with the answers so let's searching a file or folder if you want to search a file or folder in your computer then you will take the steps as shown here open the file explorer from the start menu if you know the disk then select it otherwise click on the this pc button and then type the file or folder name that you want to search for example we can search final project 2016 2017 folder so typing its name in search box after hitting enter key wait for some time when the search will be completed the file or folder will appear on the screen wild cards wild cards are symbols you can use when you don't know exactly what you are looking for but can almost guess there are two wild cards supported in windows search asterisk and question mark wild card asterisk searching for unknown strings using an asterisk allows you to replace a string of text this is often useful if you know what kind of file you are looking for but don't know where it is for example if we search for image asterisk.jpg then all instances of image files starting with image and ending with .jpg will be shown wildcard question mark searching for unknown characters simply the wildcard question mark lets you replace it for any character in a search this means that if you are looking for a file and you are not sure how it is spelled you can simply substitute question mark for the characters you don't know for example if you have confusion that is it meeting or meaning you can try a wild card search for asterisk me question mark question mark ing dot docs various file formats in a computer a file format is the layout of a file in terms of how the data within the file is organized a program that uses the data in a file must be able to recognize and possibly access data within the file for example the program that we call a web browser is able to process and display a file in the html file format so that it appears as a web page but it cannot display a file in a format designed for microsoft's excel program a particular file format is often indicated as part of a file's name by a file name extension suffix there are as many different file formats as there are different programs to process the files a few of the more common file formats are doc microsoft word document docs microsoft word 2007 document html hypertext markup language opens in any web browser mdb microsoft access database opens in microsoft access pdf portable document format opens in acrobat reader ppt 
Microsoft PowerPoint presentation opens in Microsoft PowerPoint. SWF Macromedia Flash Format file opens in Flash Player. TXT Text document opens in Notepad or WordPad. XLS Microsoft Excel spreadsheet opens in MS Excel. BMP Windows bitmap opens in MS Paint or any photo editor or photo viewer. CDR Coral Draw Vector File opens in Coral Draw. GIF CompuServe Graphics Interchange opens in any photo editor or photo viewer or in movie player if it is animated file. JPG JPEG compliant image opens in any photo editor or photo viewer. MP3 Compressed audio file opens in media player. WAV Windows audio file opens in media player. Windows video file opens in media player. MP4 Most commonly used to store video and audio file. RAR Win RAR Compressed Archive opens with Win RAR or Win ZIP. ZIP Compressed Archive file opens with Windows Unzip Win RAR or Win ZIP. Let's see a second video. Task, Task View. view. With Task, Task View virtual, virtual desktop, desktop feature, feature, you can, you can finally, finally spread out all the, all the applications, applications that you, that you are, are working, working on for various, for various projects. projects. For, example, for example, on each on desktop, desktop, you can, you can have, have the, applications the applications and documents, and documents pertaining, pertaining to a particular, to a particular task. task. When, when you, you need, need to jump, jump from one task, task to another, another you, just you just switch, switch desktops. desktops. Then, when you're, when you're ready, ready to, go to go back to your, to your previous, previous task, task, you just, you just switch back, back to that, that desktop, desktop and, everything and everything that you that were you working, working with is right, right there, there on the, on the screen, screen waiting for you. For you. No, no minimizing, minimizing and maximizing windows, windows to get, get back, back to work. To work. Each, Each desktop, desktop has, has its own taskbar task that displays only, only those applications that are on that desktop. It's a it's very, a very efficient, efficient system, system and it and definitely, definitely allows, allows you to be, to be more organized. organized. To access, to access task, task View and create, and create a, new a new desktop, desktop just, just click, click its button, its button on the taskbar. Task Next, Next, click the new, the new desktop, desktop button. button. You'll, You'll then, then see a thumbnail, thumbnail preview of the, of the new desktop, desktop labeled Desktop 2. Appears, appears alongside, alongside the current, the current desktop, desktop labeled desktop, desktop 1 in the, in the user, user interface. interface. Then, then you can, you can click, click on any on application, application among, among all, all open, open applications, applications and, and work, work in, it. in it. Now, I hope you understand the chapter by both the videos. Let's see. Fill in the blanks along with the answers. Thank you.